So, here we are with the beginning of Splatoon 2. This is the voice I'm going to use for the entirety of the Let's Play. As you can see, Squid Boy is now making his way down the path and onto the launch pad. We have reached the other end. We shoot and we cover in ink. I was about to say paint, but it's ink. And here we go, our first enemy. It's shooting little pink poops. I do believe it's poops. They can say it's not poops, but I firmly believe it's poops. I've got to make it to the other side, and I do. As you can tell, this is not being played at the same time as the recording, because Premiere Pro is a pain in the backside. And also, you know, rules. Which I won't go into too much, but yes, annoying. Either way, we have a guarded enemy, for which I have bombs that are, well, being thrown far too far, and... Well, this is going to take a while, quite frankly, so... I might as well tell you what's being done right now. The character in question is shooting the enemy with an ink gun made of calamari. With... no, that is not true. I actually don't know what the gun is made of, but I assume plastic. Here we go. And the enemy's down. We have another launch pad, and off we go. Down onto the checkpoint. Here we have enemies beneath us. What can we do about enemies out of our reach? We shoot into range, but as you can see, enemies still down below. We're about to sink through the vent. There we go, down into the pool of ink. Enemies down, and I missed calamari rings, or squid rings, or what, whatever they're called. Boxes are also an enemy. Do not be fooled by their seemingly calm demeanor. Take them down. Now we're shooting more boxes, more boxes, enemies on top of boxes, and ink is just everywhere. Honestly, whoever has to clean this up has the worst job in all of Nintendo land. We continue to shoot boxes until the enemies have been thwarted. Back on a launch pad, into the air we go. Now, for the first balloon fish. Remember that stepping into the enemy ink will cause slowdown. But as you can see, the balloon fish exploded and left a huge mark on the landscape. I don't grow tired of this voice very often. And even now, I'm quite enjoying it. It's much more fun than trying to... Be informative on a Let's Play where you can see everything that's actually happening in front of your eyes and don't really need it explained to you. And thus I'm trying a different format. The key has opened the suspicious tube. And now we're over. Sinking through, boxes down, more enemies ahead. Will our Squiddy make it to the end? Well, according to rules, you won't even get to find out. Because... We have to stop this Let's Play, which has already happened, so I already know where it ends, before the end of the level. Because rules is rules. So little pink blobs are making their way towards me. I do believe I was wrong about them being poops. They're not poops, they're just blobs. Which, technically, poop is also blobs. So, you know, apples to apples comparison. More enemies. Very simple enemies at the beginning. Not much diversity to show. But they do appear to be somewhat of a challenge if you don't pay attention. That's how the bombs are supposed to operate, to distract the enemy while you then get to hit their blind spot, where they are unguarded. Here we climb up the next launch pad and get shot across the screen. Now you'll notice in a second that there is a suspicious cut into the future, some might say. Round about now. Yes. For some reason, some of the level was skipped. Perhaps it's due to the five minutes we're allowed to show. Here's the missile barrage. And ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty much it for the My Games Lounge Let's Play of Splatoon 2. I've been David Game, with a strange, peculiar voice, in which is far more entertaining. Goodbye.